Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. These toenails you see here used to be terribly ingrown. Her big toe actually even underwent a surgery. The situation has gotten a lot better now. However, these toenails do demand constant care, which the client typically does all by herself. So I am getting straight to work on her toenails by removing the gel polish with my nail drill. All of the coating has been removed and I was surprised to see that her pinky toenails are a lot rounder than the rest of her toenails, which is usually the opposite case. My client has asked me to cut down her pinky toenail and its corner as they do bother her, but as for the other toenails, we will be doing them in a soft square shape. Further with a curette, I am checking the sidewalls on her big toe. My client has told me that every two weeks, she files down the length on her toenails and presses the sides of the toenail up and away from the skin, which is exactly what you want to do in order to avoid any pressure from the nail pressing up against the skin. I'm removing some of the length on her big toenail with a pair of nippers in a straight line. And then with some tongs for ingrown nails, I'm lifting the wall of her toenail just ever so slightly. I'm clearing out all of that dried, clogged up skin from the sidewalls, and then with a nail file for ingrown nails, I'm running through the side to remove any dry skin that could be stuck. The most important thing is not to remove too much of the nail, but leave an even sidewall. If we look at a picture of toenails from the side, you should be able to see that the toenail is nice and straight, and not left with any harsh corners. This way the toenail can grow out evenly. Therefore, after trimming, the toenail should be left in a square shape. Now with my nail drill, I am carefully cleaning up the cuticle area, and then with the ball bit, I will remove the dried cuticle.
Further, I'm coating my client's nails in red, and as I always say, you can never go wrong with a red pedicure. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.